Game Over 86 coming back with another video today, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you guys are having a wonderful week. Welcome to Friday's video. Today, it's just going to be a real quick video. I'm just going to be talking a little bit. I was reading some news. I seen that Nintendo was trying to target and limit um, microtransactions when it comes to their customers on their own mobile games, which is uh, some good and some bad, obviously. Um, but we're going to talk about it, a little bit about it, and I'm going to give you guys my thoughts and my opinions on Nintendo going forward and what they're always trying to uphold, obviously, is the, uh, the childhood-friendly image. But let's go ahead and look at some of the... Uh, comments and some of the stuff that Nintendo said obviously about some of the microtransactions games and other things that people were talking about so it says Nintendo reportedly wants to limit microtransactions within its mobile games potentially limiting revenue to protect its image and we all know you know the image pretty much is you know family friendly fun they don't want to make anybody think that you know Nintendo is a uh, an addictive gaming console or or even a mobile app or where you have to spend tons of money just to get certain things so they want to uphold that image to where the families don't go to walmart or wherever uh, best buy or something like that or shop online at amazon and say hey you know this this is all my kid does i'm not going to buy this anymore i'm going to buy you know playstation or microsoft or or pc or i mean this is this is some of the stuff that people do look at um outside the uh you know the crazy gamers and all the uh you know the big time collecting and and people that are always playing video games 24 7 i mean the the people that are not in that kind of world all the time they really look at this and try to look at their kids but it says the japanese company wants uh to use those games to get people interested in its traditional console games like those on switch and avoid being slammed as a greedy uh the wall street journal reported wednesday uh, citing an unnamed company official obviously um, this had a direct impact on Dragula Lost, the action RPG it released last September. When players struggle to unlock rare characters in its game uh, or in its in-game lotteries, Nintendo reportedly asked cyber agent develop, uh, developer of uh, Cygames, parent company, to tweak the game to stop players spending too much money on extra tries. Uh, Nintendo is not interested in making a large amount of revenue from a single smartphone game. An unnamed cyber agent official told the journal, if we manage the game alone, we would have made a lot more. Now, uh, there are some really good things in, in this. Uh, obviously, Nintendo doesn't want you to literally become addicted. I think they, a long time ago, if I remember right... Um, back in the, back in the Nintendo era, Wii era, when they were wanting you to kind of get up and exercise and they used that whole gimmick, you know, you could stand up and do stuff with the Joy-Con, exercise with the Wii Fit. Um, they, they literally had a timer, uh, a little bubble or something that came up that said, Hey, you need to go outside. You've been playing this game for too long or go, go outside for 15 minutes. And, and they did other commercials and stuff like that to kind of entice us not to just sit around and be, uh, video gaming all, all day, um, to get up, stretch, move around. You know, obviously, they're trying to uh, uphold that image, which is Nintendo. And, and Nintendo's always been family-friendly fun, and I, and I appreciate them for doing that. Um, and the other side note, though, like I stated, they, they want you to... Um, they want they really just want to look really good obviously towards uh the the casual audience that's going to be buying a Nintendo Switch in the future because it's only been out for 2 years um a little bit over 2 years for the Switch's uh you know lifespan so they're really trying to uh crack down on some of this where they have people spending thousands of dollars on these mobile games and they would much rather them um you know not have to worry about spending a lot of money to know that they're getting a good quality product for a price rather than having to say you know what i'm not buying another nintendo game because they charged me this you know it is everybody has smartphones nowadays so it is a kind of you kind of can get that bad rap to where you're like oh this is a nintendo game oh it's going to be filled with microtransactions they're trying to get that that image away from their company obviously and that's a good thing in a way um but like I said, if if you're a parent that doesn't really look at video games all the time or studies video games or looks at the video game news or follows video games uh, in a whole like I do or like other YouTubers do, um, when you have kids and they play all this, your vision may be a little bit narrow when it comes to um, looking at what console you're going to get then. So like if your kid spends all day playing Super Mario Run or a Pokemon uh, Let's Go um, or excuse me, let's go, but Pokemon Go or some kind of mobile game that is backed by Nintendo, 
and you've, you've noticed that they've spent a lot of money or you spent a lot of your money, obviously when they go to Walmart and they're like, oh, can I have the Switch? Can I have this? Can I have this? Nintendo, Nintendo, Nintendo. Um, the parents are more likely to say no because we've spent a lot of money on this company. Let's uh, And they don't follow companies like us. So you got to remember these are just people that have other things going on besides just video games 24-7. Um, and, and they're, they're going to look at that and say, no, let's get you this, or let's get you the Sony PlayStation, or let's not buy a video game, or let's quit doing this, or let's buy a Microsoft, or let's get PC. I mean, it does happen. I know even with the lower price point of Nintendo, they can look at that and say, hey, you know, hey, it's cheaper. Um, but still, when they look at their games, they can still get that memory of, oh, my kids spent three grand of my money or $2,000. He's always on his cell phone. It's always a Nintendo game. So that could be a bad image for Nintendo going forward. And I think they see that even if they don't make a lot of money on a mobile game, which they are making a lot of money, but if they can calm down that interest to where it'll you know, deter people from wanting to buy a Switch, then in the long run, they will make money, in my opinion, and it'll actually be better for them, obviously. They lose a little bit of money up front, but in the long term, people aren't mad at the company for, uh, you know, making their kids addicted to cell phones games, um, which it wouldn't be them. It's their parents. You know, parents need a parent, in my opinion, and they need to take care of their own kids. But um, nowadays, you know, we're living in a generation where people want to point the finger and blame and never take, you know, ownership of the ownership of their own mistakes when it comes to raising their own kids or, 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 you know, saying, okay, it was my fault. I, I made a mistake. It, it, I mean, it hurts a lot of people's egos, um, especially just to admit when they're wrong. And, you know, people nowadays, they don't like to admit that because, well, they're shameless mostly. Um, let's go ahead and talk about some other stuff. It says in January, the company revealed that Mario Kart tour, the mobile entry in, uh, one of the major series would be delayed until the summer. Uh, we know that the game will be a free to start, so it will contain microtransactions of some sort. Um, it also revealed Wednesday that it's making a move to into VR, which VR, um, I'm not really going to talk a whole lot about that. Um, a lot of people have already talked about it on YouTube. Um, I will I will brief about it in just a second. I'm not going to make another video just on that. Uh, 5G and foldable phones go big at obviously MWC 2019 um, and I believe some at CES so if you guys uh, there's some people out there on YouTube you guys can check that out I mean it's kind of cool with the fold foldable phones but it says with the international entry uh, and a 5g coming out party this show doesn't need to uh, boost or it doesn't need the boost of a Samsung event. So Galaxy S10 Plus review, no doubt about it. The Galaxy S10 Plus is going to be one of the best Android phones of 2019. I've heard a lot about it, but um, they're they're pretty much just stating that you know with 5G coming out and with VR, uh, the Switch obviously doesn't want uh, people just to be hooked on mobile phones because and mobile games, I should say, because it's going to pull away from their revenue of uh, selling a switch as well and selling their VR. In my opinion, the game reportedly earned around 58.4 million in 2018, while strategy RPG Fire Emblem Heroes brought in 230 million dollars. So as you guys can see. They're pulling in really good amounts of money on just a mobile free-to-play game to where you have to buy microtransactions to kind of, I guess, experience the game for its fullest. I think Nintendo understands going forward that there's a ton of people spending money on this, and they, they want their companies to kind of give back or make it to where they go, oh, I'm not buying that next Nintendo game because, or a mobile game because, oh man, it's going to be flooded with uh, microtransactions and I'm never going to earn the best person or the best character, the best weapon or the best, you know, power or mo a potion. So I can see that going forward. As far as um, Nintendo Labo guys is concerned, in my opinion, I'm not spending $80 on cardboard. Um, and that's not a shot at Nintendo. I'm just saying, yeah, they can say that they're being innovative. To me, um, to me, that's not really that great of a deal. In my opinion, a lot of people may disagree with me here, but in my opinion, um, when you look at quality games from the Vibe or from uh, Oculus Rift or the PlayStation VR, and then when you look at Nintendo, um, it seems like they're trying to get on that train just like any other company would copy Nintendo. Nintendo copies them. This is how competition does make for better for the overall gaming uh, community. I personally just don't want to pay $80 for cardboard or even $40 for cardboard for the startup kit. Um, I'm pretty sure you could just go out and grab some cardboard and cut it up and fold it. 
and and put your joy cons in there and and make it work i'm sure there will be a youtube video of somebody doing that i was thinking about just taking a picture of a stack of cardboard and saying hey guys i got my uh nintendo vr labo in early and, and you know a lot of people would probably attack me and said that's not funny or that's stupid but really is it stupid i mean what games are they going to really put on there um people can say that oh well they're innovative like i said before nintendo targets little kids that's what their main that's who their main audience is like are these big youtube channels that only talk about nintendo all the time their main audience is kids 12 year olds and under mostly um the older the kids get the more uh, they they want to play more mature games or more uh, they want more for their money and they start to you know obviously understand that okay this ain't for me I, it's not going to target everybody's audience it's not for me obviously I got kids but I'm like I said I'm not buying cardboard for that price you want to sell for you know five ten bucks then that's I mean I guess that's where that that's a shipping box in some people's eyes so I mean I, I don't I don't see why anybody would want to buy cardboard especially um you can make them designs and copy them yourself and buy some some cheaper cardboard and just do it yourself honestly it's a diy kit anyway so why wouldn't you but the main thing that i was talking about in this video as i digress back um is that nintendo is doing a, a positive things in the mobile thing that, that's a good thing for a company to come out i don't believe you would hear any other big time phone company game developers come out and say that for for any reason but these other companies don't own a their own games and or excuse me their own uh, console to where they you know they can sell consoles and controllers and all this other marketing stuff when it comes to Mario and Zelda. So a lot of these uh, developers actually live off of one of their mobile games or maybe two mobile games that they've made over the last two or three years, and they're trying to bring you know make revenue to where they can keep making these games. Now I understand some of them do lock these things to where like. You know, you're not always going to get the best drops, but that's good that Nintendo's kind of taken that, um, I guess, different approach to how mobile gaming is an addictive thing for especially younger kids. But there's adults out there that are spending thousands and thousands of dollars, and um, it's crazy because um, they're not actually keeping any of that. It's going to be a game that will fall to the wayside, and just think about how many games out there you could have bought or how many Switches you could have bought. That's how they're looking at it. And, or how many things you could have also had that you could have retained and used over the years. Um, and a lot of people, you know, when it comes to game addictions, they don't ever look at that. I mean, they quit eating, they quit sleeping, they quit looking at social life. They're just strictly, and it is a big deal when it comes to some of these things, but I, I still say that it's the parent's job, or if you're an adult, you know, grow the fuck up, in my opinion. That's just me being real, and, uh, you know, get your shit done. Don't just let a video game take over your life. On it, obviously, uh, you have responsibilities. If you do, take care of them. So, in my opinion, guys, I think this is a great thing from Nintendo going forward, and I look for hearing what you guys think about this. Um, like I said, it's a quick video. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. I got a birthday party I got to go to, and I hope you guys have a wonderful afternoon. Enjoy everything, guys. I will see you guys next week, Monday. Hope you guys stay safe, do a good deed, take care of one another, and as always, guys, I love you very much. Game Over 86 is out, and peace.